If you're experiencing issues with your DJI Mavic 2 remote control, you might be asked by DJI support or others in the support forum to either roll back your firmware or to refresh or reload the existing firmware into the remote control to see if it resolves your issue. If you're not familiar with how to do that, I will explain in this video how you can use the DJI Assistant 2 application in Windows to update the firmware in your remote control. If you previously have never installed, downloaded, and use the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic drones, you'll need to go ahead and go to the DJI website, select support in the top menu, and then select download. And then scroll down to DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic and select that. And then select the version either for Windows or for Mac. I am using Windows. Allow the software to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and select Open to install the software. When prompted, select the radio button for I accept the agreement. And then select Next. And then select Next again. And then select Install. And wait for the software to install. Once the software is installed, go ahead and select Finish. And then wait for the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic software to open. And then select Confirm. I'm going to go ahead and expand the software to be full screen so I can give you a better display of what's occurring. Next, we need to use the USB cable that we use to charge the RC1A or RC1B remote controller. So we're plugging the USB-A end of the cable into the PC and then putting the adapter that we would use to convert from USB-C to the connector on the side of the RC1A or RC1B control and then plugging it in. So right now the remote control indicates charging. Next we need to power on the RC1A or RC1B remote control for the DJI Mavic 2. Once we've powered on it will indicate connecting. And in the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic application, we will see an indication for the Mavic 2 having been detected. So I we'll want to go ahead and select on the icon for the Mavic 2 controller. Then after a few seconds, the software will contact the DJI.com website and indicate the available versions of firmware. So here, since we're already up to date, we have the option of refresh or downgrade. I'm selecting refresh and then I'm selecting Start Update to refresh my firmware. Next, the firmware will be downloaded from the DJI.com website and then transferred over to the remote control. This section of the video I sped up 400%. The overall time it takes to complete will depend on your internet speed. In my case, it took about 150 seconds from start to finish. Right now, it's transferring the file to the remote control. And then after the file has been completely transferred to the remote control, the remote control will apply the firmware update and the screen of the remote control will indicate upgrading. And you just need to wait for that to switch to connecting. And then check the top of the screen, which will switch from saying updating to update complete. So that's the basic process that's involved in updating the firmware in your DJI Mavic 2 remote. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Also, let me know if this resolved any issues that you had with your remote control. If you liked the video or found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you have not done so previously. Thank you and have a great day flying your DJI Mavic 2 Pro or your Mavic 2 Zoom drone.